The Barbell Club is a six week program. We plan to meet twice a week after school for about an hour and a half. I needed a program like the Barbell Club when I was in high school. Strength training can improve women's self-esteem, their body image, and their self-worth. And those are the words from Annie Breeze, who is joining us this morning, along with two and other incredible ladies. Uh, to uh, my side here, I do have Abby Mork and then also uh, Megan McCoy joining us this morning. All directors of a program we've talked about here on the program before as we're talking about going for more uh, with women in our community, and that's the Women's Barbell Classic. So we kind of want to review uh, the, just the last event that happened because it was extremely successful, correct? It was. So um, our second year was the Women's Barbell Classic 2000. 2019 and it was um, bigger than we ever could have imagined. We came on here the day before and we were excited and it just became more than we could have thought. It was 120 women um, from all ages on a platform lit up, high five and excited. You can see our videos like everyone could be happier. And, and, and we have video. We can show of uh, what that uh, event looked like yeah. uh, this last go around. But remind everybody, raise the bar, Women's Barbell Classic. What does that mean? Yeah. So for us, it was all about strength in our community, bringing women together from all backgrounds and feeling comfortable in front of people, being vulnerable and putting themselves out there to, you know, just lift some weights and say, hey, I can do this and to, you know, want to do it more or to be in the audience and be inspired by somebody else. So it's an electric feeling, you know, it's hard to describe until you're actually there. Um, but that event right there alone allowed us to raise uh, $20,000 that we were able to give back wow. to the Young Women's Resource Center here in Des Moines. So huge opportunities, not only for us to give back to our community, but just life-changing events for a lot of women here in our community. And open to everybody, because people might see that and they'll be like, well, I don't really lift heavy yeah. weights. Uh, yeah. How would you re respond to that? Yeah. Um, and even f like when I did my first powerlifting meet, you never think you're going to be strong enough. You're always like, I, I need to do more. I need to do this. I need that because you're seeing your friend over here who's lifting more. And that is definitely not the case. You need to just be OK with saying this is where I'm at and I'm going to go out on the platform and I'm going to do this. And um, you're going to meet new women and they are going to be so excited for you. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, just absolutely excited for you. And people make brand new friends that they meet and they go meet up with them at the gym. They are literally creating a network of women, like-minded women, who want to do the same things now. Absolutely. Which is an awesome, awesome thing. Well, love hearing that it was such a success and looking yeah. forward now to 2020. But uh, Annie, as a group of amazing women and directors, you said we now need to take it a step further. So yeah. we're now creating the Barbell Club. Explain that. Yeah. The Barbell Club is our six week lifting program for high school girls and we're testing it out at East High because we had staff from East High reach out and say like we want in on this. This is mm -hmm. we realize the transformative effects of the barbell which the three of us have experienced. Um, we just happened to experience it a little bit later in life. You know, Abby and I, Megan, we didn't really start getting serious about our lifting until our 20s and 30s. Mm -hmm. And we know how impactful that is. We want to share that same experience with girls even younger because we know that they need it. We know that young girls are struggling with self-esteem, body image issues, healthy relationships, navigating social media. So what we want to do is come into high schools, twice a week we're going to lift we're going to have a snack and then we're going to talk about social media how to how to leave social media feeling better not worse how to have prioritizing and goal setting that suits your needs that balances school extracurricular activities um, what to do when you're just kind of feeling crummy about yourself because we know that i mean as adult women we struggle with that and we know that high school girls are too so we're going to invite everyone into the weight room it's not just for athletes it's not just for super fit girls it's for everyone regardless of their strength experience which really echoes what Abby was saying about the women's marble classic like this is open to everyone we want the weight room to be really inclusive so it sounds like this is like life training life skills but centered around strengthening ourselves well we I mean we think it is that's been our experience that the the barbell has changed not just what happens in the gym but so much of what happens outside the gym mm -hmm. the relationships we're in the jobs we think we're worthy of um, how we spend our free time the thoughts that we have in our head I, it's affected so much more than what's happened in the gym and like I said we just want to share that experience with as many women as possible yeah and completely out there in the open uh, last time uh, these three amazing ladies were on our program was the first time I met them. I have now since uh, started strength training with uh, Annie and it, it, it is 
life altering, like in, in a very special way. And I'm not just talking your muscles and how you yeah. feel, but it is a community effort and you feel so and much better. that's what's magical about it because so much of this strength training, people come because they might think it might change their body, but you find out it actually has very little to do with your body, the, the effects that you really gain from it, the, the the key elements that women really take away from strength training have very little to do with what their body actually looks like and more how they feel in their bodies. Absolutely, okay, so we're starting this with East, but we wanna open this up to everybody, correct? Yeah, we've got some big goals. So by 2025, we would like to be in all five metro schools, assuming they'll have us. Right. And hopefully by then we will have serviced uh, over a thousand high school girls. Okay, but it also takes not only the willpower of some incredible ladies and a community it also takes some funds as yeah. well so what does that look like uh, how can we help as a community to make sure our high school students have access to something yeah like so this? if you feel moved to give um, to our organization and to back to these girls and what we're trying to build you can donate on our website so we have a link there um, you can purchase apparel we have merchandise that you can can buy and support and, and rep um, and then you can also become a sponsor of our events um, and then also if you feel moved to give in other ways contact us uh, because you know we will take what our community can can give and, and we just want to build that network and we know that there's people out there that can contribute in really special ways so we're open to that conversation as well here's a look at some upcoming events if people want to give back in other interesting ways or learn more about what this is all about so let's talk a little bit about this because one's coming up in October so on October 5th, we're doing a big event where we're going to do um, barbecue, axe throwing, and some other different oh, events. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the axe, Why is, not? the axe throwing is confirmed. <laughs> so we have the ability. We will be outside, hopefully, if the weather cooperates. If not, we can roll the doors up at 22nd Street Barbell, and we will just roll inside, and we will just continue the party there. So this is going to be an opportunity for us to also be a launch party. Um, this is where we will be announcing uh, when the Women's Barbell Classic will be for 2020 and when the sign-up date will be dropped. Okay. So, Which all, yeah. you don't want to miss because last year yeah. the meet sold out in five days. Wow. So if you want yeah. in on this, you got to get in on it early. Yeah. Yeah. Which also tells you people are getting it. They're yeah. understanding the power yeah. of this, so we now want to share this with our students. You were talking apparel. Just want to show a little bit of this off. This is one I just got in the mail. <laughs> uh, women, females, I should say, are strong as uh, hell. And we're allowed to say that. We're allowed to be okay, strong great. individuals. Yeah in our community, yeah. right? So you yeah. have this, you have mugs, you have other wonderful things for girls and guys, because guys can be a part of this movement yep. as well, oh, yeah. and are. Yep. Uh, we showed you the website that you can go to if you want to learn more about the Women's Barbell Classic, but also how to donate. But let's break that down for you a little bit. We have a donation full screen we can show you that kind of shows you where your money is going. So let's celebrate the fact that if you donate $15, you can help out with a strength journal. You can uh, provide a snack, or if you want to sponsor an individual, $194 will take care of it. Yeah, yep. because we wanted to really give the girls all the equipment they need to feel comfortable in the weight room. And and that that's what we think this is. Um, the shoes, the shrink journal, the shirt, um, snacks after school. I mean, you can't lift hungry. <laughs> we no, can't, we can't lift hungry, right? <laughs> yeah, We've right. got our priorities straight. Um, so we wanted to really break down all the barriers that might keep someone, that at least that we could control, that might keep someone from coming to the weight room. Um, and hopefully they feel really welcome and invited to to join our program. Okay, so don't worry about what it might cost. Just know that there's a safe, wonderful yep. place that girls can come together we're, to feel strong. We're doing all the fundraising, all the work, so all they have to do is show up and lift and have a great time. Love it. Okay, so if people want more details, there's maybe parents out there hearing about this, students out there saying, how can I go to my school system and say, this yeah. needs to happen? Where can, they, where can they go? Well, they can sign up on the website, but Megan and I, every Friday, will be at East High over the lunch hour, um, okay. just trying to connect with students. We've spent some time there over the summer, but summer's, you know, a little bit slow season. People want to relax and have family vacations so we're trying to build some relationships and connections with high school girls over uh, the next month but they can sign up on the website they can find us at lunch hour um, we'll be able to sign up or they can contact uh, the strength and conditioning coach there okay sounds good and you can also visit them on their website women's barbell classic uh, you don't want to miss it pick up your apparel make a donation learn about this incredible group of women that are just trying to say hey we're staying strong and doing wonderful things in our community and get ready because there will be a big announcement coming up soon about the Women's Barbell Classic 2020. Boom. Hope you're a part of it as well. <laughs> you're watching Iowa Live here on CWI 23. Don't go anywhere, everybody. We are going to enjoy Iowa's great.